Hi Darkroom Booth users, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, I want to talk about uh, booth themes and that you can download some of these themes from darkroomtemplates.com for free to help you get started on some of the more uh, complicated or newer features that we've added. These themes are already set up for a special type of booth. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. We'll head, go ahead and go to darkroomtemplates.com. If you click on free templates, we have quite a few themes. So let's try a uh, one that we always get a question on is uh, Jeff. Let's go ahead and add that to the cart. And then while we're at it, let's do a burst mode as well. Here we go. This one's photo, video, and burst. So we'll add that to the cart. And you can add as many as you want. And um, I'll show you how to um, install them and how they work. Okay. Go ahead and continue as a user. We can click on download items you've ordered. And here we go. Click on that. Download items. So there's one. Click back and then download items again and then click the link one more time. And there's the other one. So you can also see that I also downloaded the slow motion. Um, next thing we'll do is show in folder. And here they are in my downloads folder. And what we're going to do is create a new window. I use control N to create that new window. And we're going to go to our X drive and then boot screens. We can make this just a little bit smaller. Okay. And the next step is to open up each zip file and just drag in the XBDR from each one. And we'll also do this one right here. Okay. Now when we go to our screen templates and click choose, we should see three new templates that were added. Here's one, there's two, and there's three. So we'll start with uh, the animated GIF. We can go ahead and click choose. It should give us a prompt. Um, would you like to lo load the settings for the screen template from the screen template? We're going to go ahead and click new event so it doesn't override any other um, of the sample events or whatever we had selected. And there's a new one and then we'll go ahead and click choose. And let's select the boomerang. Click choose and then we're going to do the same thing. And then one more time for the slow motion. Click choose and then new event. So we should now have three brand new events set up that are already pre-configured with uh, the, actual, the settings for that type of, of event. Um, I hope this has been helpful. Thank you very much for watching.